Hello everyone, my name is Hong Fook. I'm eight years old. I live in the last city and I study at Lugano Primary School. Nice to meet you. Today, we are gonna to read our book. Oswald Read and Discover, Level 6, Incredible Energy. Chapter 2, Heat Energy. We use heat energy for many things. Heat energy makes our homes warm, cooks our food, and makes hot water that we can use for drinking and washing. How we get heat energy? We can get heat energy in different ways. Heat energy from the sun makes earth warm. We can also get heat energy when we burn wood. When things move, some kinetic energy is converted into heat energy. Inside our body, we make heat energy to keep us warm. When heat is added to something, its temperature gets higher. When something has a high temperature, it's very hot. Things are cold when they have less heat energy. When something is cold, it has a low temperature. Inside hot things, everything in the world is made of parts called atoms. Atoms join together to make molecules. Atoms and molecules are so small that we can't see them, but they are inside everything. Rocks, water, air, and people. When water is frozen, it becomes solid ice because it has very little heat energy. Molecules in ice are very near each other and they don't move very much. When heat energy is added to something, it makes the molecules inside move more. When heat energy is added to ice, molecules inside it move more. The ice melts and becomes liquid water. Again, when more heat is added to the water so that it boils, the molecules move so much that the water changes into a gas called steam. Heat energy moves. Heat energy doesn't stay still. It moves from things that are warmer to things that are cooler. When heat moves between things that are touching, it's called conduction. Heat moves between two things until they are the same temperature. Heat moves quickly and easily through some materials like metal. For example, heat from a stove moves quickly through a metal pan to heat the food inside it. When we pick up a metal spoon from a table, it feels cold because heat moves from our fingers in the spoon. Heat moves slowly through other materials, like wood, with these wooden spoons to stir fruit, so that heat from the pan does not move into our hands. Insulators. To keep our homes warm when it's cold, we have to stop heat energy moving from the inside to the outside. In cold countries, people put insulators in the roofs of their homes. Insulators are materials that stop heat moving from warm places to cold places. Insulators in a rooftop heat moving from the rooms inside the home to the cold air outside. Heat moves slowly through air, so air can be used as an insulator too. When we wear jackets in winter, the jacket holds air next to our body. The air stops heat leaving our body and so it gives so it has to keep us warm. Thank you for reading with me. I hope you have a great time. See you soon. See you later, friends. Have fun.